So starting with data sources in the tree view, uh, we can go to our device uh, laptop, which we already attached as a data source. And now we're going to uh, right click and choose run ingest modules. So it's taking a little bit of time to load all the modules. And uh, let's uh, make sure that we disable all modules first. So we say deselect all, right? So we just uncheck everything. And uh, just carefully follow this list, hash lookup, file type identification, extension mismatch, embedded files, exif parser, email parser, and correlation engine, which would allow us to insert information in the central database to be able to share um, our uh, bookmarks, findings, and uh, tags of the suspicious files in our future cases and across multiple cases in general. So now we're going to go back to the hash lookup module. So before you finish or anything, just go back to hash uh, lookup. And we have to import the NSRL file, uh, which is available uh, on the list of links from the Forensic Images for Hands-on Exercise resources right here. In my case, I already have this file downloaded, which is about one gigabyte in size. Uh, uh, a little bit larger than one gigabyte. But when you click on this link, uh, it will take you to a Topsy uh, download page uh, right here on SourceForge. And uh, after a few seconds, it should come up with this prompt to um, download the file on your computer. Okay, so this file I have already downloaded earlier on my machine, so I'm not going to uh, wait for this to be downloaded, but uh, make sure that you uh, select the uh, correct path on your system and save the file. So I'm just going to cancel this and close the, um, uh, the link. So once this is downloaded, uh, your task uh, is to be able to uh, go in Autopsy and open uh, Tools, Options, Hash, Database. So this is the first step. So I will temporarily cancel out of this uh, run in just module uh, box um, and uh, click tools options right and uh, the selection here is uh, hash sets so this is where we're going to be adding our hash set before we can uh, import uh, hash set as new hash set uh, let's uh, go back to the location where I downloaded the file and uh, I am using uh, 7-zip uh, to work with my archives. Uh, so I'm just going to say extract here. It just happens to be that um, this um, um, zip file contains a folder with uh, all the necessary uh, database information that is uh, ready to be imported um, into a Topsy case. So this is the folder that was um, unzipped. And uh, you can see that we have an index file here, which we should be able to um, install. Now, in case if you already have a hash set present, like from previous uh, um, uh, configuration, and you want to refresh it, it's not just um, possible to import the database on top of the existing one, you would first have to delete the existing database. So I'm not demonstrating this step, but this is just for your information that um, if you have happened to have a older version of the hash set, uh, you would have to delete it here. So in my case, the list is empty. And uh, we're going to click import hash set. Okay, and so this is quite a simple box. My location of, uh, of the hash set that I just finished uh, unzipping is here. So, of course, I will copy this. And uh, right here, 
I have a choice to open it. So I'll just uh, uh, hit um, uh, enter right here and you can see that uh, uh, once I hit enter uh, specifying this directory in the open dialog box I can click on uh, an SRL file and uh, say open and so then uh, we're just uh, following the examples uh, we just uh, um, have to uh, continue with all default options here we just uh, uh, want to make sure that the type of hash set is known uh, which uh, means that this is uh, going to be loading a list or index of hash values of well-known good files so this is not good uh, this is not any kind of bad index this is just a good good list all right so i'm just going to click ok and uh, so this uh, gets included right here and i will now apply also since we're already looking at our hash sets uh, we'll be producing our own hash set values in our um, uh, forensic case uh, so let's uh, while we're looking at this dialog box also create new hash set uh, in addition to this if if you highlight this one you see that it's it's being um, loaded as known uh, hash set already and it says read only and everything is uh, configured uh, properly so but now we're going to create new hash set and here also keep the destination local uh, let's uh, copy and paste uh, ransom case uh, okay so this is a ransom case or a RENZIC case rather let's let's do uh, uh, RENZIC uh, ransom case uh, and the path um, we can probably uh, recycle the path where we kept uh, our digital evidence okay so it's uh, this path that we can recycle for uh, for this hash set or create a, a separate uh, set uh, uh, related folder for instance uh, you can say hash sets a new folder hash sets it really doesn't matter you wherever it's probably good to have a separate folder for this so let's just save it uh, here as this location i will uh, not change the ransom case kdb name uh, rather uh, i will copy and paste i'll try to resize to show you i will try to like reuse the uh, the name of the file that was the default prompt but add my own path uh, in front of it and make sure that you add a backslash in front of the name of the file so hopefully this is fine and i'm just going to click save all right and uh, the type notable is that it's something that we should be alerted to so it could be something bad it could indicate something of uh, special interest and so forth so notable file is generally um, indicate something suspicious suspicious so this is are going to be our own hash set values that we'll be adding to this specific set so now uh, we're going to um, click ok and so now we have the known um, and now also notable right so known uh, type of hash set which is nsrl and notable um, hash set so okay now let's click apply one more time so now um, what um, uh, we're going to do is click add hashes to hash set right highlight the forensic uh, case and uh, add hashes to um, hash set and remember that we preserved in our handout uh, we've preserved uh, the computed uh, hash value of the ransom node okay so we're going to uh, add this uh, hash value 
and click OK. Uh, 